Yes. Yeah. 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 Town. I don't know all the lyrics yet. What was going through your head during that set? What it Chris Warman's a bitch and I need to beat him, that's what. I think he just wants one. He should have two. Oh, he's got a lot of this one. What's going on fam? It is currently 2.30, August 26, 2023. And I wanted to film this morning's workout with Zach. Me and Zach trained legs. We went absolutely fucking crazy this morning. One of the most intense workouts I've had in a while. And then I did an hour long cardio circuit outside. Got a bunch of content together at the club. I edited last night's video, The New Era. And then I like mocked up some posts on my Instagram in my draft. So it feels like really fucking good right now it feels really good to be back vlogging it feels really good to be um like putting continuous content out to feel like i'm looking good look good feel good play good um that's what we always say so things are like starting to roll and i feel that momentum is really turning into the right direction right now so um today's gonna be kind of like a busy afternoon i got a few things that i need to get done i just went tanning i'm um, going back to the club real quick and then I need to help uh, a friend of mine move and like move some stuff out of his apartment and then I'm also going to be going to look at a new piece of gym equipment. Not sure what's going on like after that tonight but just going to keep on hustling. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Uh, I figured it would be something different, get you out of the gym so stay tuned. We, we in Chris's car, you know, you know what it's about. Um, I'm zoomed in, hold on. I don't know what that guy's been up to but I am taking his car, I am taking his life, you know. Oh, that, that sounded bad. Um, right now, I'm squatting. I hit 405, 44. Wish I had five. Did not have five. Um, Chris, unfortunately, he's a bitch for real. But, you know, he's going to be mad. I'm taking up his SD card, you know, shit like that. But, you know, I'm the better vlogger. I'm the one here, you know. Ready? Beep. All right, let's go. Let's go see what's going on at the club, you know. Gabe, Gabe. See what's going on with Connor. Ah. Connor Kiki. Hey there, man. I want that post game interview. So, what happened there? No, no, not show. What happened? Not show. I didn't tell him shit. So, what happened? Wanna hear what happened? I have a hernia. That's something you probably do. In my fucking role. What do you think about Connor Bisbee? I think he's, he's very strong. He's like a sweet little boy. I just said that shit. Not, you know what is? <laughs> Call me the Better the horniest guy you're ever gonna meet. <laughs> oh, no, you having no, the no, bitches no. over tonight? Bitches coming over? So Connor's a quiet man. Um, last night, tell, tell him the story how you thought something broke in your house. Bro, I heard some some fucking Bro, yelling no. outside okay. my house. Bro, and I went downstairs and I Bro. saw some fucking flashlight there in front of my main door. There was no one at your house. There was someone there at was my house. There was probably someone walking their dog. Bro, no, it was like right at my door. Someone's gonna come up on my property. Then you kill that motherfucker. I was about to. <laughs> with a Minecraft sword. Bro, it was a fucking Bosnia. That shit like something from Minecraft. It was a wooden dagger from Bosnia, pussy. I'll yeah. fucking kill you, Alex. This is Chris. <laughs> yeah, women eat. 
All right, what's going on, fam? It is currently three o'clock, and I'm just leaving the club. I am heading north to the Sack and Dog at Lake area in order to visit Kyle, who is the owner of Key Sparkling Water. Her husband builds gym equipment, so he's a welder and can manufacture just about anything that you can think of. So. About a month ago, I said to Kyle, I was like, you know what I really want for like the gym is a pendulum squat, like a full blown pendulum squat. I used it at Alfland, I used it at Fusion Gym, and everyone knows that I love legs. So I was like, that would be like a sick piece of equipment, really unique, kind of new. Um, so I showed her a picture of it, and she showed John, her husband, um, her boyfriend, I'm sorry, and he was like, yeah, let me try to build one. So he actually made one. So we're going to test it out. It's like a prototype build. Um, we're going to test it out, see how we like it. And if it's like, if it looks good, price is right, all of that, we're going to make a deal and we'll be getting a pendulum squat for Legacy. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to take me about 45 minutes to get up there, uh, but I'm really excited for it. So this will be a really like good upgrade and it, it gives me time too to figure out like what we're gonna have to take out and move around in the club because it's probably gonna be pretty freaking big. She sent me a few videos of it and it looks sick. So we'll be there shortly. See you in a few. That was so cringe. I'm still getting like used to doing this shit again. In three quarters of a mile, the destination we are in Johnstown, I believe, Gloversville area, and it is really cute out here. I don't know if I've ever really, like, explored. I went through Fonda, saw, like, the fair. I probably went there at some point when I was a kid, but it's, like, super old school. Like, there's, like, sign, like, I don't know, like, there's, like, uh, billboards and, um, just, like, it just feels like, I don't know, like, it's, like, a, a throwback town. It's just, like, a hallmark town, uh, all these little towns. So, super cute, I want to say. Cute vibe. Been listening to a lot of the new Zach Bryan music, so that album is fire. I think I have like three or four that I really like on there. But um, Bailey Zimmerman's been a good vibe, uh, Zach Bryan, uh, and Noah Khan, which I think we're gonna go to the concert next week. This is a sick setup. This is the new bad boy right here. Yeah. You've built all this stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Built all my own gym equipment, built all my own like my wood stove. Hell yeah. Dude, yeah, you're probably out here like I, rocky in the yeah, winter, right? Yeah, I get bored and I just build whatever. This is sweet. For all your different angles. Oh shit, I didn't even realize you did that. Yeah. I mean, after making this, there is some things that I would do differently for like the next one. What do you think, Ed? Like, I would run two by two square tubing on the outside of this. Just to, just like to give it a little bit more reinforcement. I mean, that will never move, but like, over the course, like this, this would last 100 years. Yeah, I'm the sure. The only thing you never have to do is well raise your barriers. So, to be honest, I've used these before too. I don't think I've ever been e like I squat like this with it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been able to bottom it out. Yeah. I think the only thing, wait a second, that I might change. I don't know if you if they make like bent tubing. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like almost. Yeah. All this right here. Like just so like something right off the side hold right here, and then like one right here just to fucking hold yeah. on to. Um, and then the other way I've seen these done, which this is perfectly fine, the whole twisting it, is that this has like a little handle, so like as you come up, push Oh, you can just hit it right there. Push forward. Yeah. I have no idea if it would get in the way of the mechanics. Of no, it. not at all. I can put it right off of here. All right, fam, currently five o'clock, and I'm just leaving Kyle and John's right now. I am super thrilled about how that went. I thought that he did an incredible job building the pendulum squat. He's a very skilled welder. Um, and it's nice because he has a passion for fitness as well. Like John um, has been working out since he was a kid. So this is something that he like enjoys doing. It's almost like a hobby for him. Um, and I'm hoping that this is going to be like a long-term relationship where we can think about, you know, certain pieces of equipment that we want and that he'll be able to build them for us. So super cool. Um, this is my first time ever getting a piece of equipment for Legacy that isn't like a I guess just like a, a brand name that I bought off the internet, like something that I could actually like try before I bought um, it, and, and see what I thought about it. So I'm really excited for it. Like I said, this is big moving forward and to support Kyle and John like that, like they're fucking awesome people. So I will do anything I can to be able to do work with them. So now I'm heading to help out Aiden move from his apartment. So I gotta go help him move some stuff and I think he's got like a TV or a bed or something. 
Um, so I'm going to Clifton Park, which is actually an hour away from where I just was. So I got a long road trip ahead. Um, probably get there around 5.30, 6 o'clock. And yeah, we'll see where else this day takes us. All right, fam. While I'm on this hour drive, I want to give a little bit of a rant because John got my mind kind of spinning back to when I was opening the, uh, the warehouse legacy for the first time. And we were talking about gym equipment, the expense of it, and I feel like most people would be surprised at how much it actually costs to open a gym. Um, and like you would think that a lot of it is just like in the equipment, just like the pendulum squat. And it's actually surprising when you start to like look around at gyms and, and, and notice where money is actually tied up. Things like the floors, the mirrors, plates, barbells, weight trees, all these things that you just kind of like take for granted. Like, yeah, of course there's supposed to be barbells. Well, every single barbell that you're looking at is, you know, two to $300. And if you have 20 of them, it's a lot of money. And same thing with 45 pound plates, like 25 pound plates, they're over $2 a pound now. So every 45 you look at, it's basically an $100 bill. And um, there's so much money tied up into the actual equipment itself. And then you have things like your softwares, insurances, um, all of that it, it really rent utilities uh it, your cable bill all that so it, it adds up so quickly and it's is super expensive and something that i've always like taken pride in and i feel like john was blown away is when he found out that i don't have any investors i don't have any loans none of that like i, I was able to save and reinvest into the company and do everything from scratch literally nothing and i mean thinking back on it, i'm not really <laughs> There was a lot of like number crunching and just doing the best that I could with what I had. Um, but I take a lot of pride in that. And it just shows like, you know, anyone can really accomplish anything because uh, I had the vision and I just knew that if I consistently worked towards it, that at some point I would have enough money to do what I really wanted, that at some point it would work. And it, it's like showing up every day, even when you don't feel like it, and also knowing that every day is a step closer, regardless of how it feels. So just continue to show up whatever you want to do in life whatever that vision is for you keep showing up for it keep grinding keep hustling one day at a time when it when you don't feel like doing it when you feel like you're making no progress just keep doing it because i promise if you do it and do it and do it at some point everything's going to work out the exact way that you had envisioned it so that's something that i like am super passionate about because i feel like as humans we all have this innate like ability and skill and we have something that we really desire but it's just a matter of going out there and getting what you want so um damn whatever it is that you want show up every day and fucking make it happen regardless of what it takes you're gonna get there so we'll catch you in a little bit here